Okay, this video is about expanding three brackets, expanding triple brackets. So here we've got a question, expand, and we've got x plus 2, x plus 3, and x plus 4. So the way we're going to expand these brackets is by ignoring the first bracket first of all. So I'm going to leave the first bracket exactly as it is, and I'm going to expand the second and third brackets. So I'm going to put them in another bracket. So we're going to expand the bracket. So we're going to do the first times the first first, so x times x, which is going to give me x squared. Then I'm going to do x, the first one times the second one. So x times 4 is 4x. Then I'm going to move on to the second one here, the second term in the second bracket. 3 times x is 3x and the one I haven't done yet, so the second one times the second one, three fours are 12. So let's collect the like terms in the second bracket now. So we've got x squared, we've got four x's and three x's, which gives me seven x's, and we've got a 12 on the end. Now we're going to expand these brackets. So we're going to do the x times all three of these terms, and then the two times all three of these terms. So we're going to end up with six terms now. So we're going to do x times x squared, which is x cubed, x times 7x, which is 7x squared, and x times 12, which is 12x. So we've done x times them all, now we're going to times them all by 2. So 2 times x squared is 2x squared, 2 times 7x is 14x and two 12s, that's 24. So now we just need to collect the like terms and we're finished. So we've got just one x cubed, we've got one x cubed term, we've got two x squared terms, we've got two x terms, and we've got a 24 by itself. So if we simplify that, we've only got 1x cubed term, so that's x cubed, 7x squared plus 2x squared, 9x squared, 12x's plus 14x's, that's 26x's, and we've got 24 by itself, so just 24. So there we go, we've expanded three brackets. Okay, let's do another example now, this time with some negatives. So again, same process. So we're going to ignore the first bracket and we're going to expand the second two, so the second and third brackets. So we're going to do 2x times both of these terms in the third bracket and then a negative 3 times both the terms in the third bracket. So 2x times 3x first. So that's 2 times 3 is 6. x times x is x squared. 2x times a negative 4, that would be negative 8x. Negative 3 times 3x, negative 9x. And negative 3 times a negative 4, a negative times a negative is a positive, so that will be plus 12. So we're going to collect the like terms. So we've only got 1x squared term. We've got negative 8x, take away another 9x's, so going down further, so negative 8, take away another 9, that will take us to negative 17x, and we've got a 12 by itself there. Now we're going to expand these two brackets, so we're going to do x times all of them in the second bracket, and then the negative 2 times everything in the second bracket. So x times 6x squared, that would be 6x cubed, x times negative 17x, negative 17x squared, and x times 12, 12x, so we've times x by all, all of the terms, now we're going to times a negative 2 by all of the terms. Negative 2 times 6x squared, negative 12x squared, negative 2 times negative 17x, 
So a negative times a negative is a positive. Two 17s are 34, and that's 34x. And negative 2 times 12, negative 24. So we're going to collect the like terms now. So I've just got 1x cubed term. We've got 2x squared terms. So we've got negative 17x squared. Take away another 12x squared. So that's going to go to down to minus 29. We've got 12x's plus 34x's. So that would be 46x's. And we've just got this negative 24 on the end. And that's it. It's done. Okay, so here's a couple of questions for you to try. So pause the video, give them a go, and then I'll go through the answers after. Okay, so we're going to ignore the first bracket. So that's just going to be x plus 5. And we're going to expand the second and third bracket. So x times x, x squared. 3 times x is 3x. Negative 1 times x is a negative x. And negative 1 times a positive 3, negative 3. Collecting the like terms, that's x squared plus 2x, take away 3. And now we're going to expand these two brackets, so we're going to do x times everything. So x times each of these terms, and then 5 times each of the terms. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times 2x, 2x squared. And then x times negative 3, negative 3x. Three then we're going to do 5 times all the terms. So 5 times x squared, 5x squared. 5 times 2x is 10x. And positive 5 times negative 3, negative 15. Just collecting the like terms to finish now. So we've got x cubed plus 7x squared plus 7x minus 15. On to question 2. So again, we're going to ignore the first bracket. So we're going to leave it where it is. And expand the second and third bracket. So x times x, x squared, x times negative 2, negative 2x, negative 1 times x is a negative x, negative 1 times a negative 2 makes a positive 2, negative times a negative is a positive. Simplifying the second bracket, so negative 2 take away another 1 goes down to negative 3, and so now we're going to expand these two brackets. So we're going to do 2x times everything in the second bracket, and then 1 times everything in the second bracket. So 2x times x squared will be 2x cubed. 2x times negative 3x will be negative 6x squared. And 2x times 2 will be 4x. So now 1 times everything in the second bracket that should be easy because 1 times anything is going to give us itself. So 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times negative 3x is negative 3x. And 1 times 2 is 2. So collecting the like terms, we've got 2x cubed. We've got negative 6x squared plus 1x squared. So that'll go up to negative 5x squared. 4x take away 3x. It's just going to be 1x, and we've got a 2.